I want more education uh, spending uh, in that budget. About 100 people turned up at West Rock's uh, middle school Tuesday night to grill Governor for. Dana Malloy. So I'm here today to ask you for your help. Malloy was in Norwalk to hold an open town hall forum. Well, the governor fielded questions on topics ranging from education storm, to health care uh, to food. We have a whole bunch of schools that serve free and reduced lunch but don't serve breakfast. One person asked Malloy how the state is offering more affordable housing. He used congregate housing, housing for the elderly with built-in services, as an example. What it saves is people who are nearing or, or may otherwise only have one other option and that's going to a nursing home. Uh, we can prevent them from going to nursing homes. The governor also discussed how Common Core will need to accommodate children with special needs. We need to move all of our children in the, direct, in the direction of uh, uh, communicating uh, to the best of their ability in some fashion. Now, for people like me, that's probably orally. Some of these kids aren't um, used to learning that way, and we have all different learning styles, and that's all I'm trying to say is one size doesn't fit all. So some of the children that might have dyslexia, like our Governor Malloy, might have a difficult time. Norwalk's Judy Meikle asked the governor how the state can cut down on its total prisoners. Concentrate on the population of people who are most likely to commit crimes. That's people who already committed crimes. Uh, and to give them the training, uh, the mental uh, health assistance, uh, uh, housing opportunities. If you do that, they're less likely to, to uh, uh, reoffend. We really need to decarcerate um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a huge way. And, uh, and then he seemed to be somewhat dismissive of that and say, well, you know, that's happening in Texas, but not in Connecticut. Malloy's visit to Norwalk was his 38th town hall meeting around the state and his third in Norwalk. Mike Peel, it's relevant.com.